Hi, my name is Patrick Hayward and I work for Altus Consulting and I'm going to talk a little bit today about claims transformation in the general insurance industry. It may sound um, obvious, but claims management is a really crucial area for insurers that are looking to compete on service and on price. Um, it's a bit of a cliche, but it's the moment of truth for customers. And with the industry trying to fully understand and grapple with emerging technologies alongside the challenges of claims inflation and increased regulatory scrutiny, the insurers are currently facing significant challenges. We have cost inflation with increased costs of vehicle repairs, parts, replacements, um, property construction costs have gone up, the availability of contractors is harder and delays are following as a result. And as a result, insurers are facing real challenges with costs and profitability. We are seeing significant hikes in premiums. At a very high level, insurers are trying to find ways to adapt to these changes. We are seeing the emergence of new technologies, which are both an enabler, but also one of the key drivers for this change. We have seen new technology solutions, which enable the assessment of videos and photos and documentation at pace through technologies such as AI powered natural language processing and computer vision. And these are ultimately enabling the automation and the faster delivery of different aspects of the claims process, be it the initial and loss notification or claims assessment or damage analysis all the way through to settlement. So the benefits of self-serve claims management to the customer are they should be able to engage with the process at any time of day, they should have reduced friction in terms of who they need to speak to and when, um, and ultimately that they have greater control over the process and the process is fully transparent to them. So from an insurer perspective, providing self-serve claims capabilities takes pressure off from the contact centre, particularly in the context of surge events like floods, but also all year round, reducing this pressure gives the insurer more flexibility. Um, at the same time, if they're able to introduce fully automated or partly automated claims processes for lower value, simple cases, whilst providing a faster decision making in the more mid complexity cases, these are areas where an insurer can really improve its efficiency, but at the same time, its overall speed of settlement and therefore the service to customers. Technology is not the answer to everything, but it is likely to form part of the answer. There is no single technology solution that can provide all aspects of digital claims management so insurers need to think about their overall IT architecture and how they can integrate existing and emerging technology solutions into their estate. Each insurer will have their own claims principles, methodologies and philosophies. And it's important that where there are new technology solutions being implemented, there is alignment between needs and the technology that they're delivering. So for example, if an insurer is looking to implement an AI solution to guide decision making in claims, it's important that the work is undertaken to ensure that the AI solution refers to and is governed by the same framework as the wider operating model. One key element that insurers will need to consider as part of any change to their claims operating model is transparency of the claims process. Ultimately, if you're handing control of the process over to the customer, there needs to be real transparency and visibility of where the claim is as part of the end-to-end -end process, what's happened to date, what's going to happen next and where they have control, how that's going to be applied, which suppliers they can choose from, when how they can choose a time for that work to take place. Um, and as part of this, there needs to be real clarity in how expectations are being managed. The claims process is complex, there's often jargon associated with it, and everything needs to be managed in a way which is clear and can be well communicated to the customer. And the key thing to remember about claims transformation is that it's not just about technology and the application of AI, it's about the overall operating model. It's about people, process and technology and how they provide the capabilities you need to fulfill your claims and what you want claims to look like in the future. There needs to be a real clarity on the current state and the strategic objectives that the business is trying to achieve and a real visual understanding of what the target operating model looks like and the transitional states to get there. And the truth is that there has been a real shift in the tech capabilities for insurers in the last four or five years and the pace of this isn't changing. Insurers should be ambitious in their plans for modernizing and transforming the claims model, as there are opportunities to reimagine the process from end to end, to make claims central to their proposition, and to make significant improvements to their efficiency as a claims operating model. If you'd like to read about any of these topics in a bit more depth, please take a look at our latest white paper, Service Disruption, Next Stop for Claims, which is free to download on our website.